Here's a great takeoff on the Hendrix Classic, Hear My Train A-Comin'. Now, there's a lot of versions of this out there, uh, of really similar sound, but very different tempos. And uh, I took a little bit of a brighter one because uh, I like that one. Now, a, a fun way that he starts it off... Uh, first of all, I should mention I have a Univibe on. That's that awesome Hendrix guitar sound. That and a, uh, an Octavia, sort of like Hendrix in a box, which uh, literally they are. It's a pedal. Okay, so... Now, E minor pentatonic, and what I like about this tune in particular is we're adding in the G sharp to kind of brighten it up. A lot of times when we're playing a, a bluesy rock thing, we play... We don't play the third. We kind of play a flat third and tweak it a little bit to keep the tonality ambiguous and here we're actually sounding that G sharp which is the third of the chord to make it kind of happy which I think is awesome so so here I'm just basing everything off of the E minor pentatonic scale and adding in my natural third so D to E kind of pedaling off of that low E string now slide down the G now here I have that G to G sharp, which is that really cool flat third, natural third sound. And I'm going to play off of that until the band kicks in. I can do... I can bring it down an octave, which I know he does in other recordings as well. So there's that G to G sharp, E to D. All right, now, the main riff... Uh, Right off an E minor pentatonic scale, classic blues lick, dating back to you know Albert King, Albert Collins. Uh, let me play the main riff. Okay, so I ended my low E string, and then my top E and B string, and I play them with my middle finger, my ring finger. Now I'm going to slide in with my second finger, fingering is important on this. I'm going to slide in with my second finger up to the fourth fret, so A to B, and I've got to grab my D on top. Now, you know, sometimes when I play it live, I might change my fingering, um, but I like this idea because I'm keeping my second finger as the guide on the slide when I slide down to this A. So I'm going to slide down, bend that note a bit, kind of the flat third, the blue note, sorry, the, the flat five, the blue note, grab my D with my pinky, open G string, then open D, hammer on to the E. Now there I change my fingering because sometimes I will. Now one thing that I, I'm pretty sure Hendrix is doing is bending behind the nut, which is kind of easier to do on a Fender style guitar, and pulling up that G, kind of the G sharp. And to me, this is the coolest part of the whole thing. That took me the longest uh, time to get together. It's a little tricky, but work on it because it's pretty cool. Now, we can also use that as a fill later on. Where on the verse, we're just kind of playing off the E minor pentatonic scale. All right, so now that's what happens next. We bring it down. Right, just kind of riffing off of that E minor pentatonic scale. We have that hit on the downbeat, and now... And the use of a six is really huge in blues and rock. So I hit my low E string. D, B, together. With that great univibe. I'm going to slide it down a whole step, both notes. And here... 
I always use my first finger as my guide on my sixth. That's the one that stays the same when I change my other fingers. And I have a C sharp and the A. Now I bring that up to E and C sharp, so. And now to a D chord. So I'm going to play like a D power chord using the open strings. Open D, D again, and A. And I bring up my, my uh, second finger. I could finger it. You have to kind of drop that note at some point to get those other to the F and the F sharp. And then I go to the Hendrix G to A. When I say the Hendrix G to A, my thumb is going to play the bass note of my G chord. And I get the triad. G, B, and D, and then I can slide that up a whole step, as opposed to getting a little too big sounding. And what I can do is throw in my pinky, and it gives me the 13th of the chord, I can bounce off of that. And then I kind of brought the band up a little bit so I can just throw in some fills, throw in a little more gain. Now, this is one of those grooves that you want to let the groove work for you, if that makes sense, meaning like it's, it's all about the placement of notes and how it feels. Of course, you want to get all those great little nuances that Hendrix does so well. Um, but it's about locking in. Uh, don't worry about that bending behind a string yet. Get the lick down, get the feel together, then you can get those little finer points that I think are really important, of course. That's what makes them sound so cool. Um, Univibe really helps on a tune like this. I just think it adds just a really nice texture. Uh, obviously, Hendrix did too because he used it quite a bit.